Well, the 2018 midterm election campaign is nearing its end, and so too are all the campaign ads. They flood the airwaves, your news feed, it's hard to escape them, but do the ads really influence your vote? Yeah, what's the impact on the public? Greg Argos now with some possible answers. And Yuki, Jess, you know, campaign advertisements are everywhere. They fill commercial breaks, they play before YouTube videos. Most people say they don't pay them much attention, but experts say they have more of an impact than you think. The final countdown to election day. This midterm election is the most important midterm election in our country's history. And it seems like every time your favorite show goes to commercial. Be right back. I never forgot my roots. Yeah, you did. Big shot. Trump and Hugan. It's way more than a handshake. The new norm is a constant bombardment of political ads. There's a lot of negativity that's being, it's a lot of a Peter Braving Paul. Honestly, don't take them very seriously. I wish they didn't do it, and I think it's a waste of money. But are they actually effective? One thing that research shows is these ads have very short duration effects. So Mark Meredith, an associate professor of political science at the University of Penn, says campaign managers tend to pay big money to fill the airwaves in the days before the election. Campaigns know that they want to get these ads uh, in people's minds right before they go to the voting booth. And though many disagree. I see a negative ad, I'm like, eh, just blow, blow them off. I think they're more entertaining than anything else. They do not sway me in any way. Meredith says negative attack ads. Votes with Donald Trump almost all of the time. Dot Wallace and the liberal mob would take us backward. Are the most effective of all. Voters tell you they want to hear positive ads, they want to hear what you what you stand for. Most of the research shows that, peop, that, that, that this negative ads are actually more effective at, at, at moving people's vote choice. Now you may have noticed most politicians don't seem to announce with what party they identify. No mention of being a Republican or a Democrat. Experts say that's on purpose and most voters can tell what side of the aisle candidates are on based on the tone of the ad. But there really mm. is no mention about what party you're on.